The health and safety of our customers and workforce is our number one priority as we continue to carry out response and planned maintenance across the Defence estate during these unprecedented times. It is a legal requirement to undertake gas and electrical safety checks in your home to reduce the potential for a carbon monoxide incident or an electrical fire and we share and understand the concerns you may have when allowing an Amy engineer access to your property. However, it's vital that your home is kept safe and compliant to keep you and your family from harm. We want you to feel comfortable when an AME engineer visits your home and this short film will take you through the steps our engineer will take when entering your property to carry out a gas or electrical check. The things you can do to help ensure the visit is conducted safely and in line with government and health and safety guidelines. If your property is due a gas or electrical check, we will contact you directly by letter, phone call, text or email to arrange a suitable time for the check to take place. Remember, you can let our customer service team know anytime how you would prefer us to contact you. Our customer service centre is open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week and you can find details of the many ways you can contact us by visiting www.amydefenceservices.co.uk. On the day of the appointment, our engineer will call ahead and confirm the time of arrival so that you have time to prepare. Our engineer will ask if any members of your household have tested positive for COVID-19. If this is the case, a new appointment will need to be arranged for when the self-isolation period has ended. You can do this by contacting our customer service centre. If you or a member of your household is classed as vulnerable but not showing any symptoms of COVID-19, our engineer will need to attend the appointment to ensure your property is not at risk from a gas or electrical incident. If you are uncomfortable with this and do not want our engineer to visit your home, you should speak to your chain of command line manager who will raise your issues with DIO regional delivery accommodation. Prior to the appointment, we will have carried out a risk assessment on your property to determine the appropriate personal protective equipment or PPE required for the job. All our PPE meets current government and health and safety executive requirements so you can be confident that our engineer is taking the right precautions for the task. We are following current UK guidance in not mandating the use of face coverings when working in people's homes. Instead, we are ensuring that the highly effective and proven control measures of social distancing, increased hygiene and avoidance of suspected or confirmed cases are strictly adhered to. In preparation for the visit, you can help us by asking that your family members vacate the areas of your home where our engineer will be working, including any pets. Please move anything that may be blocking the areas where work is due to take place and if the weather allows, open your windows to let fresh air circulate around your property. Our engineer will have washed his or her hands for 20 seconds using warm water and soap at the local welfare house prior to arrival, if available, or will use an alcohol-based sanitizer before knocking on your door or ringing your bell. They will also show you their Amy identification card so you know they are working for us and are fully qualified to safely carry out the work on your property. Any tools needed for the job will have already been cleaned using antibacterial wipes or spray. On opening your door, you will need to direct the engineer to the area of your property where the work is due to take place, ensuring a two metre distance is kept at all times. If our engineer is carrying out a gas check, they will first need access to your meter and then your boiler, cooker and smoke and carbon monoxide detectors. If your boiler has a flue that goes through the roof, the engineer will also need access to your loft. In the case of an electrical check, the engineer will need access to all the rooms in your home. On completion of the work, our engineer will need to check your meters again before leaving. Knowing this beforehand will help you to organise access to each area of your home and to brief your family on where our engineer will be working to ensure that any accidental contacts can be avoided during the visit. Once the work has been completed, our engineer will clean and sanitise the area they have been working in and let you know. He or she may have to raise their voice to alert you. Our engineer will stay in the room until you've opened the front door. We ask that you step back two metres to allow the engineer to leave your property safely. After leaving, all tools used at your property will be cleaned using antibacterial wipes or spray and our engineer will use the local on-site welfare facilities to clean his or her hands if available. If not, an alcohol-based hand sanitizer will be used to clean hands. 
If we work together to follow these guidelines, we can make sure that all visits to service family homes for essential work can be carried out safely and efficiently, while protecting both you, your family and our workforce. If you have any questions or concerns about Amy Engineers visiting your property, please speak to your Amy Accommodation Officer. They are there to offer assistance and support with any aspect of your home and can reassure you that Amy is committed to supporting you more than ever as we continue through the COVID-19 crisis.